Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing a new horror game called Psych. This is an early access on Steam, and it looked interesting, so I thought I would check it out. You're caught up with everything I know. I think it's like five bucks. I don't even know how much it is. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Actually, let me check the options real quick. A lot of times, especially with indie horror games, you have to go through the graphical options and turn off motion blur, because nobody likes that. You have to turn off, like, chromatic aberration, sometimes you have to turn off, like, effects, depending on what the effects are, it's always really vague. So, I always have to take a look at the options first. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Psych! It's like if you tell a joke, but then you don't mean it. Psych! It's now been a whole year since I've seen my family. After the accident, I was in hospital for a very long time. However, there was none nearby, so I had to be placed in one in the next town. Unfortunately, I can't remember the accident either, and I only know that I drove off the road in a car. Of course. And because of this accident, I developed a behavioural disorder. More precisely, a post-traumatic stress disorder, which made me imagine things and caused me to behave uncontrollably. So I was transferred from the hospital directly to the nearest clinic for mentally disturbed people. No visitors were allowed there. Not even my own family. It took me almost the whole year to deal with the behavioural disorder. And even now, it isn't normal. So I'll probably have to live with it until further notice. They didn't want to talk to me about the exact causes and said that such disorders can often occur in such accidents. Anyway, the day after tomorrow is my little sister Sam's birthday. She'll be 16. So... I thought that on the day of my release, I would meet Sam directly and we would go to our parents' house to celebrate her birthday. She called me right after my release and said that she'd found a park nearby where we can meet. It's already quite late, so I have to hurry. Okay, so a couple comments already. New quest. Oh, Find your sister. A new message. From Sam, perhaps? Wait, what? Press F to take your phone out. Okay, give me a second. I got <laughs> things to talk about. When I started up the game, they had this big, like, little, uh, paragraph here about how the game depicts mental illness, but they treat mental illness very seriously, and it's not meant to be offensive, so I want to throw that out there. Also, the narrator, I thought, for, like, the first two lines, I was like, is that CJU Games, fellow YouTuber, fellow horror YouTuber? But it's not. After he said, like, the third sentence, I was like, oh, it's not you. Okay, press R to open the messenger. Uh, let's see. Gonna be there soon. Great. Can't wait, Alex. Where are you? That's what we said. That's what we said last. Okay. Well, it's been fun. But, um... This is not the park, by the way. Didn't she say she wanted to meet in the park? We're not at a park. Oh, wow. A windowless white van. Exactly what I want to see in the park at night. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Have hazardly pa parked off to the side. Ugh. Oh wow, look at the great park map. It's been ripped up. 1950. Welcome to Wine Vale Park. Really? Five years after the Second World War, the community of Wine Vale decided to build a park. Ah, that's why it's called that. Okay. At that time, the aftermath of the war still prevailed and there were hardly any parks to visit. The local clinic for mentally disturbed people, led by the director at the time, William Arthur Singer, proposed to build a park right next door. The idea was to create a restful and relaxing place for future generations that would represent peace and harmony. The idea was to plant as many trees as possible to enhance the so-called forest bathing which has a proven positive effect on our mental and physical form. The idea was that patients of the clinic could also come here as often as possible to get some inner peace. In the summer of 1998, however, there had been an incident that almost led to this park being demolished again. Fortunately, this could be avoided, so that subsequently the Winevale Town Hall decided to recognize this park as a historical monument. And then there's some indecipherable signature down there. Okay. Well, what's the deal here? Like, that's where we are. But where's the rest of it? Okay. Well, I, I guess we're just gonna have to walk around. Great. Wine Vale, huh? 
You really named a town Winevale. I'm not sure who I'm more confused by, uh, the fictional townspeople or the developer for <laughs> naming the town Winevale. What the? What's happening, Alex? Is it out of batteries? What was that? Can I do something about it? Hello? Oh, it fixed. I heard something this way, so I'm gonna go this way, actually. Oh. Okay. <laughs> something I can't interact with. Oh, hey! A piece of the map. A map piece! That's another way to put it. A map piece. Wow, what a great park. Psych! That's the name of the game. I'm sorry. I just heard someone take a picture of me. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey, you think I'm- you think I'm <laughs> not gonna chase after you? You think I'm just gonna let that shit go? Huh? That was actually a cool moment. I liked that. I liked that. Pretty- pretty creepy. Okay, uh... Memorial of Jasmine Singer. Oh, we gotta go to that. Street workout? Is that what that was? That little, like, jungle gym and stuff? The street workout, huh? Wow. Okay. Wow, look, here she is. In honor of Jasmine Singer. Wine Vale Clinic. Here she is. Look, she's got her, like, action hero pose. Looks like she's walking away from an explosion right here. What? Can't- Glasses. Wait. Ugh. They look just like my old ones. Before I had the image change. The image change? You mean like, before you decided... One out of three memories. Oh, interesting. Look, there's someone over there. Hey! Hey you! It look- it's- oh, oh, we blinked and then they're gone. So you decided that you weren't gonna wear glasses anymore? Missing person disclosure. According to new reports, Emily, a married woman, <laughs> was last seen with her husband Paul and her son Jack in the park near the clinic for mentally disturbed people. According to witnesses, Emily also went to the park alone at night to sing near the pond. Okay. Very quirky cast of characters so far in this missing person disclosure. When a witness asked her why she sang there, she replied that it calmed her down after every argument with her husband. In view of this, her husband disappeared with their son without a trace. The husband is under investigation. Well, wait. Well, all three of them are missing then. It's not like Emily's the only one missing. I don't understand this. They're like, a woman is missing. But then they say the husband and son disappeared without a trace. So the whole family's missing, not just her. What? Do you hear that? Oh, yeah, you're a great singer. Psych. What's up? What's all this? Hey, that's like a dead body or something. What the hell? Is it over there? I'm coming around. Hey! Did you throw something in there? What the hell? I also like how in the missing persons report, the, the hospital for mentally disturbed people doesn't have a name. It doesn't say like, you know, the Wine Vale Hospital. Uh, join the abstinence club. Oh no, respect yourself. Don't be a slut? Whoa. That's a hell of a pitch right there. Alicia twerks for God. Okay, call me. Well, what's your number? Let's- let's call 911. Just for fun. It'll be funny. Hello? I'm looking for my sister Sam in the Winevale Park, but I can't find her. If you cannot speak, please give us a sign so that we can take action. Your location is being tracked. Please stay safe. Can you hear me? My name is Alexander Green, and I'm calling because of my sister- I am deeply sorry. Unfortunately, your location cannot be discernment. We wish you the best and take good care of yourself. I'm calling from a public it's phone. Oh, <laughs> what? Construction site. Let's go to the construction site. What do you say? That seems like a fun thing to do. Anyone else think that Alex sounds like 
a really annoying person to be around. Excuse me, my name is Alexander Green. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling particularly upset about something. Oi, you, <laughs> you bellend. Excuse me, if it pleases you, can you turn around? I'm d deeply sorry. My name's Alexander Green. Deeply sorry to trouble you, mister. What? Stop doing that. Danger. Do not enter. Uh, no unauthorized access. Bro. It's like a truck and a shipping container. What do you mean? Danger. Oh, look. This looks like the birthday, birthday. card for Sam. <gasps> I remember visiting the stores a year ago to buy this exact card. Wow. And she brought it all the way here and just left it. Her treasured memory, she left it on the bench. Let's go up here. I know it's like, oh, danger, but come on. Oh, no. Okay, maybe we don't do anything over here then. A backpack. This looks just like Sam's school bag when we... <sighs> took a spin in my new Mustang. I remember. A Mustang? I got an achievement. Where the past Ooh. begins. Well, I'm getting a call. Wait. Oh no, Isn't it's not my phone. Some smartphone. What is it? Well, well. If it isn't little Alex. Who is this? Where is Sam? Don't worry. Sam is with me. Sam? Who the hell are you and where have you taken her? I won't tell you until you do something for me. At the entrance of the park there is a power box that you must manipulate for me. You must not run, nor hang up. You have exactly three minutes. Oh no. Starting now. A power box at the entrance. Okay. Okay. I'll hurry up. Owen, by the way, if you can't make it in that time, then neither will you assist her. Wait, you mustn't hurt her. I'll find that damn power box. Power box. Okay. Oh, when you say by the entrance, there's two entrances. There's the south entrance. And the north entrance. So which one is it, bro? I, I I have to manipulate the power box. So that means I gotta use some passive aggressive language, okay? We gotta slowly convince it that uh, it has to do my bidding. Here it is, there. right? I see it. What should I do exactly? Well, your time is up. What? If, uh, well, no, it's not. Say goodbye to you. It's no. not been three minutes. Wait, Sam. Uh, uh, uh. Sam, I have to find Sam. Okay, let's go through what just happened. Well, I was looking for a new quest, Sam. I was looking forward to manipulating the power box. What? Sam? Wait, but how can that be? She kidnapped Sam, herself. where are you? Are you okay? Wow, wait. I know we haven't seen each other for a long time, but no need to shout like that, Alex. <laughs> but I was just... Hey, wait, you just fine. got released today. Please don't overexert yourself. Where are you anyway? I'm kind of lost in this park. I'm near the south entrance. Oh, I was just there too. You just have to... Sam! Sam! Fucking hell. Oh my god, guys. Oh, look. What the... Hey, investigate the streetlight. Let's investigate it. I'm investigating. What am I looking for? Wait, what's going on? Are you looking for me, Alex? Don't scare me like that. I'm here, Alex. Alex. Why do you sound like a computer? Turn around, Alex. <laughs> It's like a computer voice. Okay. Knowing that this game professes to be psychological horror, I'm gonna go ahead and say Sam is dead. And that car accident that we talked about at the beginning, we killed her. She was in the passenger side. I remember for years I was trampled on. I was bullied, beaten, kicked, laughed at, and excluded from everything. Oh, really? All my life, I was an outsider. But my family, especially Sam, 
were the only ones who believed in me. I was so, so sick of being put down by everyone that I decided to change my image. It's funny how someone like me always had a dream of owning a Mustang. A car that screams self-confidence. But when I turned 25, that dream came true. And I was so desperate to prove to Sam that she had a cool brother that she could be proud of. And I was absolutely died sure in the I car could accident. Die in the car. But then. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took her first spin in the Mustang. She died in the car accident. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Meet Sam in the park. Uh, Sam's dead, so that's impossible. Hello. Hi, kidnapper. Excuse me. Have you seen a girl with brown hair? About 1.6 meters tall. <laughs> so, as as a former Mustang owner myself, mm, about that self confidence line, eh, I don't know about that. I think Mustangs are are fine cars, honestly. Uh, but as far as them being anything more than a vehicle to get you from point A to point B and making any kind of statement about your personality. I think it's exactly what a Mustang owner would say, right? Um, wait, it says I have a new message. Alex, are you alright? Where are you? Oh, that's what I said. Hi. Sorry, can you hear me? I'm looking for my sister, Sam. She wanted to meet me here in the park, but I can't find her. Hey, is everything okay? I think I'd better leave you alone. Have a nice evening. Okay, well, this has been fun. Um, I do want to get all the map pieces, though. Because my, my map is really... What happened? <sighs> what? I think the electricity has gone out. I saw a power box somewhere earlier. Shall we have a look? Check the power box. I literally was just there! I'll go check the power box. And then when I check the power box, oh, I'm gonna kill her now. And then later be like, oh, go check the power box again. There's gotta be more than like one location for me to check out. Okay, let's see. Entrance North. Ah, uh, let's check out Entrance North. I actually haven't been over there. I think I, I skipped by it. Is this it? You're breathing super loud. I'm not sure if you knew that. Okay, I got another map piece. Uh... I have to close my eyes and do what I was taught in the clinic. Take a deep breath and exhale deeply again. Okay. Oh, I was wondering what was going on. Is it because we've been in the dark for too long or who was this? I'm a murderer, Emily. <laughs> what a great, what a great, uh, Way to start off. Hey, wait, Emily, wasn't that the name of the missing woman? I'm a goddamn murderer and I'm so fucking sorry. I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it. Please believe me. I was so, so pissed that you kept this from me. And when I came to you, you were already... My god, Emily, I'm so fucking sorry. I know I could never make it up to you, but I promise I will take care of Jack with all my strength. I'm such a bad father. Such a goddamn bad father. Now Jack will have to grow up without a mother. And it's all because of me. Look, you can see the tear stains. He was crying as he wrote this. I wish even though I know it won't happen that we will see each other in the next life. I hope you are well in heaven, your husband, Paul. Oh, okay, so uh, Paul didn't actually kill her. He just blames himself for her death. When I came to you, you were already. Yeah, so I guess she... Killed herself? Is that a... What the hell? I... No. I don't want anything to do with this. God damn it, no. You've had a very stressful day, Alexander. And yet, I find your constant whining a bit annoying. <laughs> oh look, it was like right here. Street workouts this way. Um, I want to go put that... Well, we gotta check the power box, and I want to put this map piece up. What? You like whistling, huh? It must be nice to be able to whistle. I can't whistle. Well, I can whistle like one note, but I can't change notes, you know? So basically, I can't whistle. So there's the north entrance, I guess. Here's the south entrance. There's the street workout. And then there's the telephone booth. 
Anyway, I'll come back to this later. Uh, yeah, power box, right. Wait. Footprints. Where do they lead? Oh no, can we pick up the flashlight? Can't pick up the flashlight. I guess I'll just use my phone then. Okay. Yes, you're very scary. Shut up. Can we go this way? What is that? Someone's left the door open. I guess we should go inside. What do you think? Man, we don't have much light. I feel like... I feel like a uh, flashlight would have been better for this. Okay. We need to save the park. <laughs> manipulate the power box. Look, 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 you can press the second button from the left to manipulate and the fifth one from the left to destroy. What? Jimmy, Timmy, and Lenny. Are they missing people that have gone in the park? What? Manipulate the power box. So should I manipulate the power box or should I destroy the power box? Jimmy, Timmy, and Lenny. Oh, the heroes of the park. Look at them. Adorable. Three brothers who went to Winevale Middle School. I'm sorry, your three brothers and your names are Timmy, Jimmy, and Lenny. Chose the summer holidays of 2018 to do something incredible. The big park near the clinic for mentally disturbed people was said to be demolished by Stephen Marshall. How do you demolish a park? What, you like bulldoze the trees? The president of Marshall Industries. Oh, evil corporate man. In order for him to build a new holiday home there. However, the three boys loved the park and wanted to defend it by all means necessary. While open talks and protests only led them to being ridiculed, the brothers decided there was only one solution. Help had to be brought in from another world. One night, the three of them decided to make a plan to drive the construction team out using something paranormal. They coordinated so that only one of the brothers would be up to mischief each night. It was only yesterday, the 10th of June, 2020, a full 10 months later, that this became known through a video uploaded to We Watch by Timmy, one of the three brothers. In the video, he talks about how much he cares about the park and would do anything to protect it. The Winevale community wholeheartedly thanks the three brothers for pulling off this miracle. Stephen Marshall has a bad reputation since the beginning of his leadership due to manipulative actions and corruption. Interesting. What a, he he's so manipulative. He wants us to manipulate the power box. Oh wait. There we go. There's like a scarecrow here. Is cool. this where the electricity is controlled? Oh, so we can. Looks like a switch is missing. Oh, the destroy switch is Someone missing. Someone definitely here to sabotage the power box. I should follow the footprints. I manipulated it. Dear Mr. Anderson, with this letter, the Winevale community bids you farewell. All the years you spent caring for the park, we will never forget. Your loyal spirit and gentle disposition will be remembered forever. We are deeply sorry for your passing and wish you had stayed with us a little longer. We promise to continue your work as you have done. The Winevale Park contains many stories. Yours is now one of them too. We wish you nothing but the best on the other side. Much love, your Winevale community. Wow, what a great little community this is. They care about the park so much that they want other people to do all the dirty work for them and then they send them nice letters. Dear Jimmy, Timmy, and Lenny, great job defending the park. We love you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my life now. That's the Winevale community. Oh, Mr. Anderson, you dedicated your entire life to cleaning up the park. That's nice. I'm gonna go back to playing video games now. What's going on here? Oh, this is the construction site. We gotta follow the footprints though. Where did they go? Into this shipping, this uber dark shipping container. I got the switch. Power control. Hey. Wait, so they close the door and now they're gonna hit the sides of it? Hey, stop it. Let me the fuck out. How pointless. Might as well have a seat, Alex. I gotta close. I need to get out of here. I had to close my eyes. Okay. 
Need to get out of here. Right, 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 right. Can we open it? Oh. Look at me, I'm charging head first. Wow, that wasn't so hard. Probably because it like wasn't barred with anything. What's this? Double car accident on a country road. Maybe the kidnapper also had someone die in the car accident and they resent us for it. Terrible things happened today. At around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, the fire brigade as well as the hospital were notified by passers-by who observed an accident. It seems that the driver of a, is that a Mustang? There's an M there, it could be Mustang. There was a loud bang and the road section was enveloped in smoke. Few passersby who were out for a walk when the incident occurred immediately called the emergency services and rushed to the car. A witness reported that a young man in his mid-twenties could be seen covered in blood from top to bottom. The passenger side was completely destroyed, mm? but blood was dripping onto the ground. We do not want to imagine how cruelly this person died. You mean Sam? The driver of the car was pulled out of the car as quickly as possible and tried to give first aid. It seemed too late for any help until the driver suddenly screamed loudly and then fainted again. Immediately afterwards, the paramedics and the police arrived and cordoned off the section of road. The paramedics put the driver on a stretcher when suddenly an angry middle-aged man came running. He told him that his young son had been hit by a car. Okay, so this is our kidnapper. The guy on the bench, I bet. One of the two paramedics ran with the shocked father. From a distance, he already recognized a stationary car and a little boy lying on the ground. Next to him was his mother, who could not stop sobbing. The man who caused the accident was staying next to it, holding his head. When the paramedic knelt down to the boy lying on the ground, he immediately noticed that the boy had no longer had a heartbeat. He only shook his head briefly to tell those involved that nothing more could be done. Later, it turned out that the person who caused the accident was using a phone at the wheel and was not paying attention to the road. However, we have not yet been allowed to find out what happened to the redacted for legal reasons. Well, why wouldn't you be allowed to find out for, for legal reasons? I think we've pretty much figured out exactly what happens in this game <laughs> story. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense. Psychological horror game. I'm always like, okay, the main character killed someone. Cause they all, they all want to be Silent Hill too with the big twist. What's up, dude? Saw it, Ed. I got an achievement. Jimmy, Timmy, and Lenny. You did it! I'm at the phone booth right now! Meet me there! Meet Sam at the phone booth. Not bloody likely. Well, look at that. I'm only missing one map piece. Look, there's the construction site right there. Okay, so the phone booth. What? Are you okay? I'm gonna close my eyes. There we go. The... F the phone booth. It's ringing. Oh! Wait! I wanna go put the map piece in. That was the last map piece. There we go. I got an achievement. A good overview. Nice. Okay, I can finally see where everything is. Okay, when I get to the shipping containers, then I take a left. Will you... Can it over there? Oh. Okay, Phasmophobia. Where is she? Let's pick it up. You're so pathetic, Alex. You're running away from reality. Hey, that's me what? on the phone. What do you mean? Who are you? The accident should have killed you, Alex. Look at you. There's no spark of joy left in those eyes. You're a hopeless case. A failure. How do you know, Mike? What the hell is going on here? Who the hell are you? I'm you. I'm you, Alex. I can't imagine that. Yeah. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. Hi. Oh! <laughs> Wait, you just killed me. The new quest said escape, though. It's okay. I woke up on the dirt. Okay, he stabbed me, but we're okay. We're okay. So I go out the... South entrance, maybe? That's the guy that we t Oh, mushrooms! Hey, you wanna make this experience a little more fun? Just eat some of those. Do not eat mushrooms off the ground. I have to go into- I have to go into non-dad-dad mode. 
I don't want someone to be like, okay, I'll just eat, I'll just eat mushrooms, huh? Oh no! No, stop! <laughs> What's with his Voldemort nose, dude? Okay, well... Where am I now? Face down in the dirt. She said this doesn't hurt. How do you get out? This is where I came in. Do I go to the north entrance? Okay, so he went after me just cause... I guess he's after me. Or he was. Wait, where'd he go? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we go to the north entrance. I don't know, I... I'm not sure, it just said escape. My quest is escape. Okay, I'm by the street workout right now. There's no way he'll come over here. Did you see him? He was a twig. He doesn't work out. This guy. Well, you, are you, you mad? You mad, bro? Have to hide. Maybe I could hide in the powerhouse. Powerhouse. Hide in the powerhouse. I think it's this way. Here it is. I went straight towards it. How can it be like this? It was already open. I need to call Sam. What? Hello? Sam, listen to me. There's something running around in the park. I don't know what it is, but it's got a knife in its hand and it's following me. I was trying to hide in the powerhouse, but the door's locked. Oh, okay. I just saw something that looked like a key. I'm near the street workout. What? <laughs> Okay, I'm coming. Hide somewhere and don't move. I just saw something that looked like a key. I'm by the street workout. You saw something that looked like a key. All right. I'm heading over there. Okay, street workout. There we go. And I'm looking for something that looks like a key. Now, why wouldn't you call Sam and be like, I'm right here. Why wouldn't you just call her and be like, hey, I'm at the street workout. Let's, let's group up. You know, so that you're not alone. Oh. Uh, okay. Found it. Hide in the powerhouse. Do I have to- Okay. Why wouldn't you call Sam and be like, Come with me to the powerhouse? Do you think she knows where that shit is? Just be like, come with me. I have a key. I can lock us in there together. Why wouldn't you call her right now? You were like, hide somewhere nearby the street workout, and then you come and you get the key, and then you're like, <laughs> and you just leave? Okay. Now what? Fuck off. It's Sam. Wait, I'm calling Sam right now. Hello? Sam. Get to the powerhouse quickly. I'll wait for you here and open the door as soon as you get there. But he's the already outside. The one next to the entrance, right? I'm on my way. Please open the door for me as soon as I get there. We're going to be letting that guy in. Why'd the lights flicker? Uh oh. That's impossible. Hey! What the hell, dude? Dude, I'm gonna go ahead and say... Here we go. Uh, it's me! Please open the door! Oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 when I was in the hospital, it quickly became clear that something had happened to me. I started seeing things I wasn't supposed to see and behaving strangely. Once my wounds had healed, I was sent straight to the mental health clinic. 
I was supposed to learn to live with my new self there, but something, Mm -hmm. something kept stopping me. I have only bad memories from my time in that clinic, but the same nightmare made me feel worse day after day. I felt like a criminal. Sorry to hear that. Oh, that was chapter one and chapter two. Oh, okay. So this game is in early access. So that wasn't the complete game, but I think we know where it's going. Uh, fun, fun game though. Let's talk about a couple things with this game. It's not bad, honestly. Like I've played much worse. Uh, is it particularly good? No. I think this game suffers from something that a lot of indie horror games suffer from, and that's like too much busy work. There's too much like, go check out the power box. Oh, okay, now go to the house. Okay, oh, you can't get in. So you gotta go to the street workout to get a key. Okay, now go back to the powerhouse. There's too much like, go here, go there, go here, go there, but then like the only purpose in going to the place is to like trigger the next story event. Like the thing with like the, the guy, the guy being like uh, on the phone, go go to the power box, manipulate the power box. Then you get to the power box and he's like, uh-huh, it's too late. And then you don't actually interact with the power box. That's annoying. That that's that basically, I, I guess from like a game dev perspective, what you want is you want to have a way to have the player go to a certain place and and be there so that they can set up uh, different events, like a string of events, right? Um, but they know where the player is so they can set things up uh, a certain way and like control uh, what happens. Because a lot of the problems I imagine with making any horror game that's like really open like a really open map like this is that you have very little control over what the player sees or experiences, right? That's why you have extremely linear any horror games like Layers of Fear where it it feels like you're playing a movie because they have such tight control over where the player is at any point in time so that they can do stuff like, oh, you turn around and the door isn't there. Whereas if if that happened in a game like this with the, where it's very open, uh, there'd be stuff that you would miss constantly. Maybe there was stuff that I miss constantly, but I don't think that the solution to that is being like, go to the power box. Okay, now go to the to the construction site. Okay, now go to the street workout. Okay, now go to the, I don't like that. I don't like going on like a wild goose chase. Feels like I'm doing busy work. So that's like, I think that's the biggest problem with the game right now. And there's lots of like little logical uh, issues that I have with it. It's like, so you went to the street workout to get the key. And that's where Sam supposedly was, although we know that Sam is dead. But you don't call her to group up. And, uh, you know, there's just stuff like that in the game that's kind of, it takes me out of it a little bit because it's not, on one hand, you don't want to go too realistic with this stuff, I think, especially if it's a psychological horror game. But you don't want to go completely off the rails 100% 100% supernatural for everything either. I just feel like right now the game is in this weird gray area where it's like it's trying to ground things in realism, but then there's too much like paranormal supernatural stuff also happening and it kind of and like one of the things about um Welcome to the Game for example that's so cool is that it's totally like a realism grounded game. You know like are there going to be people with masks invading your apartment to kill you because you browse the dark web? No, but you know what I mean? Like there's no supernatural component to it. Uh, and, and with stuff like this, it just feels like it's in this weird in between limbo area and it doesn't really do either particularly well. Maybe I'm wrong about where the story is going, but I feel like I got it pretty, pretty spot on there. Like the, the killer is either the uh, devastated father of the son that got killed in the car accident that he blames Alex for, or it sounds like it was Alex on the phone. So maybe it's, he's battling himself. I don't know. Either way, Sam's dead hundred percent. That was, uh, that was psych. Am I going to play the other three chapters when they come out? I don't know. It kind of depends. It honestly, just to be blunt, 
It depends on how bored I am. If I got better stuff to do, probably not, but I am glad I checked it out. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.